Hey there YouTube and world, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing fantastic. Oh yeah. I'm doing fantastic here. About to unbox something for you guys of which I have no idea. So let's see what it is. You guys already know what it is from the title of this video. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Alright. Looks like an Asterix comic. Omnibus comic. Which includes six adventures of Asterix. Including Asterix on the Great Divide. Asterix on the Black Gold. Asterix on the Magic Carpet. Asterix vs. Caesar. Asterix and Sun. Operation Get a Fix. Let's check out the year of this book. The publication year that is. By the way, this is uh, a publication of London, Sydney, Auckland. So England, Australia and New Zealand. Alright, let's check out the year. First published 1992. That's not bad. A 30 year old comic. Not bad at all. I remember this artwork. I can't recall where I saw it before, but I did see it before. Alright, so as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six adventures in one omnibus comic book. The reason I got this is, of course, first of all, the fonts. Very, very nice fonts. The fonts were absolutely magnificent back in those days. You could actually read the fonts and not, you know, make your eyesight go bad. Nowadays, even if you have 2020 vision, you can't read the new Asterix comic fonts or the Tintin comic fonts for that matter. And the paper, the smell is absolutely fan fantastic. The paper quality feels like a comic book. The color, a lot of you will disagree because the newer colors are better because they're computerized, but I believe the printed press colors are what makes comic book looks look like real comic book so yeah this is a very rare edition as well i had to look for it on the internet for a while and then i found it finally these are the adventures that i don't have in these fonts so i had to get these adventures in this font so i can actually have a good experience reading it like i did when i was a kid i really really liked reading comic books instead of reading comic books on an iPad or a computer monitor I like to read comic book lying down you know and then the comic book on my chest and I like to just go to sleep reading the comic book relax you know have a good time yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing and this is absolutely a fan fantastic that's just comic book oh by the way this adventure uh, this animated adventure which I haven't seen yet I'm not sure why I haven't seen yet but this adventure uh, the so-called operation get a fix adventure the book of the film I've never seen this animation leave a comment below if you guys have seen this animation I was never able to get this animation anywhere I've never seen it before so this is the very first time I'm seeing it in pictures on the comic book and also this will be the very first time I'm gonna read it on the comic book I've never ever seen this animation ever so this is a very good collection for me it's like a brand new collection after you know reading Astro's comic book for 30 years or for 35 years all right awesome this is really, really, really awesome. Looks like an uh, adaptation from Asterix and the Soothsayer. So because this is a Soothsayer guy. Awesomeness. Pure awesomeness. This is really, really fantastic, man. Cool. I really like the Asterix animation because it actually portrays the drawing style 100% of the comic book. Unlike Tintin animation they mess it up somehow when they're animating Tintin or even making it into 3D they just mess it up they don't have this original uh, drawing anymore 
unlike Asterix, this is like the original drawing in the comic book as well as in the animation. That's what I like about Asterix. All right. Absolutely gorgeous. This was uh, nine pounds 30 years ago, 9.99. So 10 pounds 30 years ago. All right, all right, stay cool everybody and stay fantastic. Oh yeah.